Let me introduce you to the Chinese Lantern Festival. It is a beautiful time of year when in winter's coldest time, they create beautiful light displays to celebrate being together and keeping warm during the long winter nights. Look at the shapes and warmth of all of these lanterns. People can go outside and enjoy beautiful, fantastic lit displays so they don't feel so dark and alone. Your family might celebrate with lights this wintry time of year. A lot of cultures and a lot of countries use lights to hang out together. In Portland every year, there is a winter light festival. Artists come together to create art for visitors to come and explore at night in the cold. It is usually all glowing. You might be able to walk inside or through it. And it's a really fun time. This is a plant that is actually called a Chinese lantern. And it makes a shape like this. Let's look at Chinese lantern shapes. On the back of your paper, we can practice some shapes with a crayon. You can practice a circle lantern. You can practice one of the long stretched out accordion lanterns. The line with a zigzag on the left, a zigzag on the right. You can practice kind of that squashed shape. It's like an upside down triangle, but it's all curves. You can practice more of that flat squished donut shape. And you can practice a right side up rounded triangle shape. Draw the shapes that you enjoy. You'll write your name and then begin on the front of your paper. I decided to lightly draw with my crayon and then when I found the shape I liked, I did dark crayon. In, on top of each lantern, there is a circle, and on the bottom there is a circle. So you can draw that, and you can draw quick lines across to show where the wires go inside of the paper lantern. The lanterns in your picture might be overlapping. They might be swaying a little bit in the wind. This long accordion lantern will be swaying off to the right a little bit. And notice I'm taking my time on the front of my art so that my lanterns look nice and clear. A box on the top and a box on the bottom show that way that the paper lanterns are held together. You can also do something called tassels on the bottom of your lanterns. Now I'm gonna choose another shape I really enjoy. Draw the box on top and the box on bottom and my quick happy lines across the middle to show the wires. And you can even do a few smaller lanterns in the background. You will draw wires that swoop off to the sides of your art and show your lanterns hanging way up in the sky. To show our glowing aprons, you will get a water, a brush, and you will use the colors that feel warm especially the orange and the yellow. Those would be the hot burners if each paint palette was a burner on a stove. You're gonna get some water on your brush, but then you're gonna make circles on your tempera cake until you see lots of color coming onto the bristles. This is called pigment. You need to stir the pigment up into your brush bristles so that you can use it on your art. Notice I'm putting some bright glowing yellow inside of each shape. When my brush gets dry and scratchy, I put a little bit more water in it, and then I can pick up more pigment and do a second layer to make it an even brighter glowing yellow. I can clean the yellow off my brush before I move on to the next color. I'm gonna work a lot of circles into this orange so that I can get pigment into the bristles. And I'm gonna add some orange around the outside of my lantern so they really look like they're glowing. 
The brush I'm using is good at getting inside of my black lines and the video is sped up so you will take more time than this. And it looks like I forgot my little lantern in the background. So I'm going to add some yellow into that lantern too. I decided I want my lanterns to look even more bright and warm. So I'm adding a third coat of yellow on top. It's tricky with paint to not use too much water. So you need to use lots of pigment, not too much water, and finish your three glowing lanterns for today.